I want to leave you tonight uh, with a little inspirational story. Uh, this is one I, I just learned about, and it just blew my mind. Back in 1776, the British had uh, uh, just uh, they had, had the battle at Lexington and Concord. They were heading back up to New York, and um, on the way back up, they were actually destroying uh, American homes and, and killing people and, and uh, burning the houses and things like that. There was an 80-year-old man. His name was uh, Samuel Whitmore. Um, he had fought in the French and Indian Wars. He, he had fought for the, uh, the, the King's Army. He was, a, he was a great warrior in his day. 80 years old. Now, that's that's extremely old at that at that time. And uh, he had, in, in the field of battle, he had actually procured two pistols, dueling pistols, they said, from uh, from a Native American they had been fighting with he'd also gotten hold of a, a, a ceremonial sword a very beautiful sword so anyway when he heard that the british were marching back from lexington concord <clears throat> excuse me uh he decided that no they're not taking my home they're not they're not doing this to me so this 80 year old man now that they talk about these are the people that that want us our freedom from from great britain and uh, let us become the nation that 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 we uh a young man one time uh he was he was he was wanting to fight the the American government. <laughs> he was one of the young guys that just uh, thought that violence was the answer to everything. I think, and uh, good kid, just just a little misguided in this area. He said, "When are we going to fight, Dave? When are we going to fight?" I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "When are we going to actually take up arms and fight our government?" And I'm like, I was stunned. I was like, I looked at him and said, "Brother, don't you think we should at least get people passionate enough?" To vote first, <laughs> I mean, before we take up arms, can we all just at least go to the ballot box and try to fix this thing? We're going to lose our nation if we don't turn out. And, and there, you know, God, uh, judges. Even when he was coming across the wilderness, he broke up different judges to judge things. Um, and Samuel, he he was he was part of of that 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 civil law. He would actually travel from from uh, city to city or from country or from parts of the country to parts of the country. And it was basically the first circuit court, if you will. That's why we actually have circuit courts in America because years ago uh, judges would actually travel.